Oh, yeah. I'm messing with the fuel pump. I got a fuel pump, the whole, everything that you need for your fuel pump uh, from Z1. Let me kind of go through some of the contents. I mean, I got everything from a new O-ring, all the, like I, I did my, my, my Googles on like G35 driver. You know, if you guys have a G35, if you, ain't, if you ain't on G35 driver, I mean, that's probably the biggest tip I can give you guys, right, guys. So one of the, one of the things you wanna do, especially messing with the fuel pump, um, is you wanna relieve the uh, pressure from the fuel pump. And that's a really big thing. I've seen some YouTube videos where people didn't do anything about relieving the pressure, you know, the pressure from the fuel. I didn't see any mishaps, but you want to do it the right way, do it this way. So what you want to do is you want to turn the car on, okay? Well, before I turn the car on, because the car's going to be loud, because I haven't started it up, it's going to be a, a, a loud startup. Um, the fuse box that's in the, the hidden fuel box, the third actual fuse box, that's hidden next to the battery, and I'll go over there and show you, you know, when I'm done turning the car on, is the box that you want to, matter of fact, let me just go over there and do it now because I know the car's gonna be loud. All right, so the car's on. Got that there, I got a smaller needle nose. Go ahead and you pull, so you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see it. All right. Now watch the car. Bam, cuts right off. Cause it is one simple fuse. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this right here nice and safe. And we go ahead and cut the car off. Bam, car is off. And there's nothing wrong with your car when that happened guys. It's just, that's what you gotta do to be able to release the pressure. Now I've seen a lot of people also, the gas cap. I don't know how true this is. I don't know if it's some type of myth, but people also take the gas cap off from the uh, from the back as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Just because I'm such a conspiracy nut. So yeah, we took the gas cap off and last thing is to take the negative off and that's it, we're ready to go to the back. And that's how you relieve the pressure from your fuel pump guys all right let's go all right guys so the fuel pump um uh where the location of it is basically right behind the passenger seat in the left side of the rear seat okay you got a couple tabs here which you're going to need some type of uh well you could use a screwdriver let me see if i got my screwdriver here yep you can use a screwdriver to take it off or you can just twist off the caps with a with a needle nose. I would say just use uh, a screwdriver, it's real simple. And you don't wanna break these, these little tabs. You gotta turn them uh, clockwise. Turn them clockwise, bam, that opens that up. Let me get this here. Give me a second guys, I'm using literally one hand. Uh, all right, boom, that pulls up. This is connected. It has a clip here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to make this work the best way I possibly can. Um, okay, let's kind of have it right there. Okay, so there's a little plastic interior clip. You should be able to just They would have just slide this shit off. Hold on, right there, and then right there. You push, oh, so you got some, you got some little bit of gas, a little bit of gas, nothing ain't gonna hurt nobody. So what we do, we go ahead, and again, remember, this is the plastic clip. You gotta push these little pieces in. It has little notches on the end that you wanna be able to pull that off. Uh, 
guys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're gonna get gas over, uh, you know, all over yourself. <laughs> it's just inescapable. Kind of let that shit sit over that. You know, it's inescapable. This car completely smells like gas. But let it, let it kind of drip in there like that. When you feel it's kind of done, then get a nice little, you know, dirty rag or whatever rag you got and cup it under. So let me do that, and then I'll show you guys the, the tank uh, assembly completely out of the car. Oh, and you definitely got to disconnect that, that, that right there. Got to disconnect that and maybe hang it off to the side or position your rags a certain way to kind of keep it off to the side, all right? So let's go. All right, guys, that is... That's the fuel pump assembly right there. Um, again, I am gonna clean up all this. I know some people's uh, uh, OCD is kind of killing them right now that I have all this dirt and stuff on there. Trust me, I don't, I don't half ass it. I'm gonna be cleaning up all this. It's gonna, I'm gonna try to make it look as brand new as possible um, when the time comes uh, to clean up everything, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so here's everything kind of laid out. If I'm not mistaken, it's the 255, the wall bro, the Z1. It gives you, the, you know, the strainer or whatever. Uh, you know, everything you, that you basically need. Now, the thing about this is there is uh, a bit of splicing that you got to do with this. Don't know why. We'll get into it. Again, this is my first time doing this. I, I, I kind of find myself to be a pretty smart dude, so I can figure this shit out. I'm going in. You gotta press it in. Like I use the flat head of the, the screwdriver that I had and just pressed it in. It ain't going anywhere. Like it's it's not going anywhere. And then after that, this was also on the bottom of the old, the old uh, fuel pump. And of course you get a new one that fits the actual, cause you can't really be using, especially when you get something like a little better, like a wall bro or whatever, you're gonna have different components that's gonna that's gonna only work with this particular fuel pump you can't just swap out unless you're getting the same brand and if you want to do it that way but nine times out of ten when you're getting a fuel pump you're getting something that's a little better so you want to go you want to connect this into here I'll make sure it's nice and put together you just want to make sure squeeze it down into the little grooves and there you go. All right, remember this top part right here is gonna be used for this joint. So let's go ahead and get that started. I'm kind of curious to see why they gave me this one hose right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over and see what I can probably find on that uh, instruction. Maybe I missed something and see what, it, see what it's, you know, what it's supposed to be for. So let me go ahead and do this. This for whatever fuel pump, and I'm assuming it's based off your your, your fuel uh, assembly right here. So I don't think it's, it's either one or the other. You either use this or you use the other one. So clearly I have the that piece that's in there. I can just pull that out and use this. And I should be fine. And I should be fine. So that slides in. I need to trim this wire off and get these wires, uh, you know, spliced together and we should be good. I could put everything back in and everything is a go, I think. <laughs> so we'll see, let's go ahead and get that going, put this in and go from there. Let's go. And as you can see, I did uh, splice the cables together. Um, it's, this ain't coming off, this is, this is, this is, this is on snug. So yeah, it's all connected, everything is there. I think I'm good, man. I think I'm good, I think I'm good. Uh, so now let's just kind of pop this back on the car. And I think that's it. It did kind of throw me for a little bit because they give you this or they give the other one. And you know, this one here is for if you have um, like a metal bracket assembly, which I don't know why they would, I guess, I guess, I don't know, but it, from the instructions, it was making it seem like if you have this, see that had that metal, it's like a metal bracket assembly. If you have that, then you use the uh, 
that little rubber piece. But I mean, G30, from what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong, the G35s come with only this. So, but they put it in there as like a little extra, hey, if you have this, do this. So, but whatever. So I didn't need these. I didn't need the, the clamps. I didn't need these either. I just didn't need them. Um, Cause once I connected everything in here and I put it into the actual grommet on the inside of here, all I had to do was just splice the cables together and that was it. That's literally all it was. So um, what I'm gonna do now is take off these screws and put the new screws on there. And like I showed you guys, you know, showed you guys earlier that this this plastic well rubber piece has to go on. So I'm gonna carry everything over there to the to the car and just start screwing everything in. And then I'm gonna just put the car back on and go from there. So let's go. I'm sweating like shit back here in this damn car. But finally got it in there. All you gotta do now is just basically connect the cord back in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the fuse back where it needed to go. It's not like bad smelling of the gas, like it's not like a lot didn't spill, but you just know gas is in the car. So as you guys can see, hold on. After doing a little bit of you know research and everything like that, I found out that specifically with the wall bro, because they are bigger than this, like in terms of not really wider, but thicker, like longer than the stock. Apparently you gotta cut the teeth. You gotta dremel down the teeth that are here, because this is what's causing it. And they also said you have to keep the stock rubber grommet that goes on the bottom of it, you have to keep that in order for it to come together. You can't use the one that Z1 gives you, which somewhere around here, I think it fell. I think it fell, whatever. The big one, the big thick one that we had there before, you can't use that, okay? So basically you just go ahead. I got a little mini Dremel. I didn't get my big one out there, but I got a little mini one. It's doing the job. It's not crazy. Um, I'm using a really, really hard grit grinder on it and I mean it's doing work even with it being such a low wattage you know voltage uh Dremel it's doing it's doing its work and we're gonna see if this works because it's supposed to help with everything coming together so that this remember I was telling you guys oh here goes the damn grommet right here so that this plastic piece can properly clip into where it needs to go um and this right here this is the one I was telling you guys about this rubber thick grommet you can't use this you have to use the stock one that comes with it when you dremel it down because it's not gonna fit everything clipping on to this as well so that's a little bit of a tip to let you guys know this is the way you want to do it especially if you have a wall bro if you're having issues with the wall bro going inside and fit into your uh your fuel uh assembly fuel pump assembly that's that's the issue right there so let me go ahead and finalize it and put it all together and we'll go from there let's go all right guys so after a good amount of shaving the rubber grommet the stock one uh, so this is the like i told you guys this is the the one that came with the wall bro this shit's not gonna work in the stock fuel pump assembly it's just not gonna work um and so I kept the grommet that came for this one on the bottom and I still had to shave both the plastic teeth on the, on the wall bro and I had to shave the actual plastic housing that clips in and I had to shave the rubber grommet as well so everything can kind of clap, you know, collapse in and, and go in there the way it's supposed to. But we got it working y'all. We got it working. I'm not mad at it as long as it's there. I'm not gonna have no issues. It's not flimsy. It's all in there the way it's supposed to be. All right, guys, I got everything connected. Got the, uh, let me see if I can kind of zoom in on that for you guys. I got the fuel line put in, snug. I got the connector piece right here from the, you know, that 
directs everything connected right here. The little gray connector piece that you see right there. So I'm gonna keep the camera that way. So in case there's any, you know, you just wanna watch out for any uh, any leaks or anything like that. So let me go ahead before, you know, I don't wanna do this before I sign, seal, deliver, and put that cover on. So battery's connected, fuse is put back in. Let's see. Perfect. Perfect. Are we good. We good. 